What's good guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. Today we are doing a top five. You know what? No. We're doing a top ten of my favorite current WWE wrestlers. So let's get straight into this video. Number ten, it's Dolph Ziggler. Yep, it's the show off. Mr. Ziggle Wiggle. Yes. Dolph Ziggler is number ten for me. Just because I don't like his moveset. I mean, I really think he's really good on the mic, and he's really good in the ring. I think he's really underrated, and I think he should get a lot more. I feel like he should have got a lot more world titles, but that's just my opinion. Dolph was number 10 for me. Number 9, it's Sami Zayn. Sami Zayn, the underdog from the underground, is number 9 for me, just because... I feel like I feel like he should get a lot more than he gets in WWE. I mean, he's had a couple good feuds, like with Kevin Owens. Braun Strowman was okay. He's in the Money in the Bank. Like when I'm recording this video, he's in the Money in the Bank ladder match for the SmackDown WWE World Heavyweight Championship. And I think that Sami Zayn should not should should win it. And cash in against Jinder Mahal, like at SummerSlam or something like that, because Sammy deserves a lot more. So Sammy's number nine for me. Number eight, it's Braun freaking Strowman, the monster of among men, is number eight for me. He's just so great. Like he's one. I don't know how to say this. He's one of the best big men in WWE right now. He's like he is the best big man in WWE right now. He's just so entertaining. I like the way he don't care. He just wants to beat up people. It's just so awesome. So he's number eight for me. Number seven. It is the Viper, Randy Orton. I like the way he's holding that world title, but he's not anymore in real life. But whatever. It just. But it's like Randy Orton is. Uh, <clears throat> My first ever favorite when I started watching in 2011. Yes, I started watching WWE in 2011, but Randy just started becoming my favorite wrestler in 2011. Cause like I just said, he was my favorite in 2011. Cause his feud with Christian was really good to me. And yeah, so he's number seven. He's one of my favorites of all time. That's why he's on the list. He's number seven. Number six, it's Samoa Joe. Samoa Joe has been doing really good on the main roster so far. I just wish that Samoa Joe has held a title on the main roster. Maybe the Intercon maybe he'll fight Dean for the Intercontinental Championship and he might win that. But I might not want that because you'll see it on later in the list. So number six, it's Samoa Joe for me. Number five, it's Finn Balor. Yes, the Balor Club is on my top five or top ten favorite current WWE wrestlers. Yes, Finn Balor is my number five favorite wrestler right now. Yes, Finn Balor is just so interesting. He's just, he's just so cool, you know, like, I would, I'm really upset that he lost the Universal title because of injury because I feel like he could have had a really good run. But he came back and he's doing pretty good. Like he's in main matches, so I'm guess he came back where he was on the main roster on Raw, and he's just really entertaining. So yeah, he's number five for me. Number four, it's the man, the myth, and the legend, the architect, Seth freaking Rollins. Yes, guys, I do like Seth Rollins. I feel like Seth Rollins was the second best in the Shield. Because, um, I'm not going to tell you who I like the best, but I just feel like he's just so interesting in the ring. Like, Seth freaking Rollins has a really good move set. Like, I like his Falcon Arrow. Or, yeah, but the suplex into the Falcon Arrow. I love that. I like the way he used the pedigree. I missed the curb stomp. So he's number four for me. Because he's the man. Number three is the phenomenal AJ Styles. SmackDown is the house that AJ Styles built. Well, is it? 
but I just think AJ is the one keeping SmackDown live, alive, because he is the phenomenal one. One of the best, he has one of the best movesets in WWE right now. He's so phenomenal in the ring, I had to put him as number three. Number two might be shocking to my friends, because I don't really talk about this guy much, but Kevin Owens is number two for me. Kevin Owens is one of the best, like, I guess we can say that Kevin Owens is a big guy. You know, he he's just so good in the ring. He has really good mic skills. He has a really good character. It was just hard for me not to put him number two on my top five, my top ten favorite current wrestlers. I can't believe how many times I said top five in this video, but whatever. Number one for me is the lunatic fringe Dean Ambrose. Dean Ambrose is my favorite wrestler for like the last two years. His lunatic character in 2014 was so like good. And like it's still good to this day. Like he went from a serious lunatic to like the funny lunatic. I love his character. He has a good moveset. So Dean Ambrose is number one for me. Thanks for watching this video. If you like it, like it. If you like it, subscribe. And if you like it, leave a comment. Peace, guys.